we're at week five already? Crazy, right? I know. Crazy stuff we got going on this week in the NFL. It's week five. Tonight we start off, you know, week number five with a NFC West showdown between the Rams and the Seahawks. Boy, oh boy. It's going to be interesting to see, you know, these two teams, you know, both, you know, haven't looked the greatest, you know, the Rams lost last week, that's right, they got smacked around on last week by the Cardinals and the Seahawks, have been struggling all season, yet they're at 500 on the year. Um, this one here is going to be an interesting matchup, I am going to be watching this one tonight, so this will be like the first Thursday night game in a couple weeks to, you know, watch, aside from the opening kickoff, but that was, I think that's the only Thursday night game I've really watched at all. Um, and yeah, this one's gonna be, this one's gonna be a key game in the NFC West race, you know. Lots of storylines are bound with this one. Let me, let me tell you some other storylines going on as well. What happened to the defensive side of the ball today? You know, what has happened to the defensive side of the ball this week? We're talking, Stephon Gilmore just got traded to the Panthers by the Patriots and Jalen Smith got released by the Cowboys so I don't know what's going on I don't know what's going on out here I have no idea who picked him up I'm not sure who picked him up at all if anybody's picked him up yet I haven't even checked on that but I do know that fans in London are going to be really we're going to need to check up on them we are going to need to check up on them for this matchup at, on Sunday morning at 830 that's 9.30 Eastern. Um, the Jets and the Falcons. Gonna be a sad, sad time to watch these two teams play. These two teams, you know, the Jets finally won a game last week. You know, with Zach Wilson, the quarterback, and the Falcons, you know, are just the Falcons there. Not a good, not a good team. Not a good team to be watching. And another team that's not really good to be watching is the Texans. Let's, let's just, I mean, the Texans just look sad, man. This is a sad state. They are going up against the Patriots, though. Patriots are one and three, two. You know, it's again. It's been a weird season. Very much a lot of parity so far. You know, throughout this young season, that's really what you know, a lot of big matchups are this week to you know help get these um, races for these um, for these divisions going. Really, you know, the Lions are searching for their first win against the Vikings. The Vikings have had some close, close games throughout the entire season. Panthers looking to bounce back at home against the Eagles. Oh my goodness, we're probably going to see that CGI Panther again. No, no Christian McCaffrey, but you know. Uh, I'm sure Sam Darnold and company could figure out something, you know. I'm surprised Dolphins Bucks is a matchup to be worthy of any discussion because I mean it's just been a it's just been a rough time so far for the Dolphins. They've been hit by the injury bug, you know, Tua out. He'll be out for another week or two, I think. Uh, the Bucks, you know, they're three and one, you know, strong momentum coming back from Foxborough last weekend. And uh, they're looking to keep going. Titans are struggling this year. Thought they were gonna. A lot of people thought they were gonna run away with the AFC South. This might be the Jags' best chance to end that 19-game winning streak with all that controversy going on with Urban Meyer throughout the week and stuff like that. You know, it might be the best chance for the Jags to you know do something about it. Because I mean, the Titans lost to the Jets last week. Anything could happen in this game. Saints are going up against the football team of Washington at Washington. Um, and I mean, Washington's improved. The Saints, you know, they looked very strong week one, but they've been kind of in and out the last couple weeks. They've been kind of weird the last couple weeks, and I don't know what's wrong with them. Best, best game. Yeah. In the new window, however, is the Bengals and the Packers. That is right. It's gonna be one for it's gonna be, you know, an interesting one to see, you know, Joe Burrow versus Aaron Rodgers. I mean, come on, the Bengals have improved a little bit. You know, a lot of people were kind of, you know they were kind of beleaguered at this offensive line for the Bengals, but instead, you know, things have improved steadily. You know, the Packers were thought to be dead week one. They we all thought they were gonna be dead and they rebounded mightily these past couple weeks. They rebounded in a very good fashion. 
I mean, against, you know, the Lions and, and the Steelers, I mean, and, and, and a decent 49ers team, but still, you know, this is just early in the season. We, we've, we, we, we kind of know what things are going on with some of these teams, but at the same time, we kind of don't. You know, Broncos, Steelers, another one that's going to be, you know, a little weird because the Broncos, you know, they lost Teddy Bridgewater last week. Now they got to suffer through Drew Locke, you know. I'm not sure how long that concussion will last for Teddy. And the Steelers are just trying to get rid of Big Ben. It's, it's, I mean, Najee Harris is just, he's just there, you know. I mean, you got these receivers that have been dropping passes and stuff like that and just not contributing, you know, based on the way the offense has looked. They're still, they're still doing, you know, it's like it's Big Ben in his prime out there trying, you know, to... You know, they're trying to run the offense like it's Big Ben and it's prime out there and it's just not working for the Steelers. Broncos have a stingy defense. Remember, this, you know, if it weren't for the Ravens being petty last week, they would have been under 100 yards rushing. Like, that is a big achievement in and of itself, in all honesty. Broncos, you know, they're struggling, you know, a little bit, you know, with the injuries they've had. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. It's going to be an interesting noon window, not as much excitement, in all honesty, as it has been the past couple weeks, at least in my opinion, you know, but I really hate that the, that the Bears, Raiders, and the Browns, Chargers are stuck at 3.05, and so we have to suffer through my Cowboys, you know, with Joe Buck on the call. <laughs> I know, yeah, I know, I know. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll talk about this. I'll talk about the Giants, and the Cowboys in a minute. But Browns, Chargers, man, like this is a matchup right here that has Sunday night written all over it. But we'll talk about the Sunday night game in a moment. But I mean, this has potential written all over it, man. Browns, Chargers could be one hell of a game, you know. Mayfield versus Herbert, you know, two young, two young guys. Yeah. In the AFC looking to prove themselves, looking to say we're staking our claim for number one in the AFC. You know, the way the Chiefs have looked, I mean, the Bills, uh, you know, I'll talk about the Bills Chiefs matchup right now here. Uh, the way the Bills and the Chiefs have been, I haven't watched the Bills game in a couple weeks, in all honesty. I've been, I've been looking at the Chiefs. The Chiefs have just not looked good on defense. I mean, yeah, they made some plays and stuff like that, but they haven't looked like the Chiefs, you know, that have been dominant. I mean, it's just, it just is what it is. You know, and the Bills have looked, you know, obviously against, you know, not as great competition, but I mean, it's still the Bills. They, <sighs> excuse me, you know, the Bills have played the Chiefs pretty tough, you know, a couple times at least over the past couple years, you know. I mean, you know, Josh Allen is continuing to improve. He's looked right out there these past couple weeks. I mean, man, Bill's defense has improved too. We're talking a very improved defense. I forgot a lot of these guys they've got free agency and stuff like that. But I mean, you know, Bill's it's going to be Mahomes versus Allen. Another great matchup on Sunday night. Uh, Monday night's nothing special though. You know, Colts, Ravens, um, you know, the Colts inexplicably got a win last week, you know, but I mean, the Colts just aren't really that great of a team to be watching, you know, just ha they just haven't impressed this year, you know, they thought the second coming of Carson Wentz would be at Indy, and it just hasn't happened, I mean, there's just a lot of bad luck, and a lot of problems, you know, with the Colts, man, just a lot of problems there, um, Bears Raiders, you know, now just now that Justin Fields is the permanent starter. Thanks, Matt Nagy. You finally you finally got you finally got something right. You know, he's gonna be the starter moving forward over Andy Dalton. Something that we all knew was going to happen. But I mean when, when was it gonna happen? And it happens, you know, right now. Um, this Raiders team is probably gonna be angry coming in though. They know they had they know they had to get some momentum going. You know, against the Chargers last weekend, they didn't do that. You know, they did. They did not capitalize last weekend. You know, on opportunities that they should have. You know, the Bears defense. That Bears defense ain't no joke. Khalil Mack is still there. Uh, you got a bunch of other different players on the defense too. You know, just I mean, 
the, the, this Bears defense is still a tough cookie to, to swallow. Still a tough cookie, you know, to crack. Or rather, a tough nut to crack. Um, so Raiders are going to have to do something. They're going to have to, you know, again, you know, they're just going to have to, you know, play better than what they did against the Chargers, though. They, they got to do that. Uh, my Giants, you know, and my Cowboys fans, I don't know why. I don't know why this game is stuck at 325. You all know why. I don't realize I just said my Giants fans. I'm not a Giants fan. <laughs> um, but my Cowboys fans, as I rep my boys with the shirt that I usually wear when it comes to these Cowboys, Cowboys are steadily improving, continuing to improve as a unit, as a cohesive unit, and you know, you cannot underestimate the fact that this is the Giants we're talking about here. This is the Giants. They always play the Cowboys tough. And again, I hate that this game is at 325. Like, please relegate us to the noon window, please. Uh, I'm tired. Of, I'm tired of playing national games, you know, against the Giants and the Eagles and, and, and the football team. Like, can we play other teams, you know, in, in these primetime windows, please? Please. <laughs> Come on, man. Um, but yeah, you know, the Giants, you know, they're they're also in a state of, I guess, improvement, you know. I mean, this is the same team that lost to the Falcons, you know, in all honesty. This is the same team that was able to, you know, play with the Saints very toughly and were able to beat the Saints, too, you know, for their first win of the year. So I don't know, man. 49ers still have a QB problem, I'm assuming that Trey Lance will be starting, if I'm not mistaken, you know, I think Jimmy G was injured again, he was injured again last week, and I have no idea what's going to happen with this game against the undefeated, the only undefeated team in the NFL, the Cardinals, man, who have just looked, they, they, they looked dominant last week, they played good, solid football this season, I mean, Chandler Jones on defense, going to be a tough Kind of stuff if that 49ers O line ain't going, you know, if that 49ers O line isn't going to do anything, you know, to, you know, stop stop this defense, you know, the Cardinals, man. And I mean, I, I, I'm excited for this one as well. You know, the 49ers have not looked good at all this year. They've looked very, very lethargic, and they need to pick up the pace. Can Trey Lance pick up the pace for the 49ers? We'll find out. Sunday. We'll find out. We'll find out all these games. What all these games are going to mean on Sunday. And with all that being said, everybody, I'm going to get on up out of here and skedaddle. And I'll see you all Saturday night, you know, late Saturday night for the college football recap. I really don't have, again, I don't have any notes for NFL stuff for some reason. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, y'all take care. Peace.